What's up guys, WB Punk Fan 19 here with my Royal Rumble 2010 DVD review. And you see on the cover you see you have John Cena and going to the left of him is Triple H, Randy Orton, Chris Jericho, Ram Cyril, Mark Henry, and Cody Rhodes. And to the right of him you have The Undertaker, Shawn Michaels, Batista, CM Punk, MVP, and Ted DiBiase. I like the cover of it, really, really good cover in my opinion. Um, then you have the disc. Um, at first I thought it was just a plain white disc, says Royal Rumble, but if you look really, really closely right there, it says I am the one, it says it written all over the disc, um, which is really, really cool, I like that that, uh, does that, on the side you say you have WWE Royal Rumble 2010, on the back, it says, who will be the one, 30 WWE superstars begin their journey to WrestleMania 26 in the Royal Rumble match, Find to earn a guaranteed championship opportunity in the main event at WrestleMania. It's a monumental task, as the match features former winners John Cena, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, and Batista, as well as superstars looking to add a Royal Rumble victory to their resume, including Big Show, Chris Jericho, CM Punk, Cove Kingston, The Miz, John Morrison, as well as the returning, their stunning return of Edge, and more. In addition, the ultimate underdog, Rey Mysterio, faces his greatest challenge, when he tangles with Undertaker for the the World Heavyweight Championship, Randy Orton looks to cut Sheamus's WWE Championship reign short, and Christian defends his ECW Championship against a massive Ezekiel Jackson. The superstars of Raw, SmackDown, and ECW present Royal Rumble. Now, in my opinion, this was a really, really good pay-per-view. Again, it's just my opinion. I don't know about you guys. I enjoyed the hell out of this pay-per-view, and the uh, you see uh, the WWE Championship match, Sheamus versus Randy Orton, there's a picture of it right there. Um, it was a pretty good match overall, nothing really special in the match, but um, I do like the ending of the match though. Like I didn't like it, but for the Randy Orton legacy built feud, it's going good because at the end, um, you had Randy Orton throw uh, Sheamus into the one of the the poles around the ring, and then you had Cody Rhodes come out attack uh, Sheamus, and the referee saw Rhodes and he's yelling at Rhodes. Uh, Sheamus goes back in the ring, Randy Orton hits CRK on Sheamus, pins Sheamus, the referee calls for the bell, and then Randy Orton, um, Randy Orton's like, alright, why didn't the ref, uh, count the three? Uh, the ref tells the uh, ring announcer that, uh, Randy Orton got DQ'd because of Randy Orton's, uh, Quitter Rhodes interference, and then, uh, the announcer said the winner of this match prior to elevated disqualification and still WWE champion Sheamus, and then, uh, Rhodes is pissed off, uh, he starts beating up Rhodes, uh, Orton was pissed off, um, I think I said Rhodes, but in case I didn't, Orton. Orton got pissed off and um, started yelling at Rhodes. And he started beating up Rhodes. And then DiBiase came out, you know, started uh, yelling at Orton like, Hey, man, what are you doing? Then Rhodes, uh, and then uh, Orton started attacking uh, DiBiase. And then um, he gets up, he turns around, Sheamus kicks him in the head. And um, hold, uh, exits, the, exits the ring and holds the WWE Championship in the air as Randy Orton stays in the ring. You know, laying on the ring, knocked out. Then you had the World Heavyweight Championship match. Undertaker vs. Mysterio. Picture right there. Um, really, really good back and forth action match. Um, at the end, Ramster hit the 619. The Undertaker and Undertaker, you know, um, uh, turned around so he wouldn't get pinned. But um, Ramster ended up jumping and kicking Undertaker to the other ropes. Hitting the 619 again. But when he went for the West Coast pop, Undertaker caught him midair and hit the last ride and pinned him to become will retain, my bad, the World Heavyweight Championship. Um, good match, good match. Then you had the Women's Championship match, Michelle McCool versus Mickey James. Um, this is night, I don't even know why it's on the pay-per-view. Um, what happened was, you had Michelle McCool coming out and saying how Mickey James is nowhere to be found backstage, and now she's scared of her. Then you have, uh, Layla coming out in a fat suit, well, pig suit, fat suit, whatever you want to call it. Making fun of Mickey James, all of a sudden Mickey James music hits. She runs out, she jumps on Layla. Um, then she gets in the ring. Uh, um, then the match starts. Michelle McCool. Well, Layla gets on the ropes. Um, then Mickey James, uh, Layla. Um, I forgot what happened. Um, I think Michelle McCool knocked down Layla. Uh, she went to hit Mickey James, but Mickey James got out of the way. And then Michelle McCool turned around. Mickey James and plant, uh, hit the. DDT and won the women's championship and then after the match like uh, all the divas came out and they threw a cake and uh, Michelle McCool and Layla's faces it was just um, really stupid in my opinion I didn't enjoy that at all and then you had the ECW championship match Christian versus Ezekiel Jackson this was a really really good match in my opinion I actually enjoyed this one a lot 
uh, especially the ending, because um, what you had going was uh, Ezekiel Jackson. The ending was beating the crap out of Christian, and he went to throw Christian into the um, turnbuckle, but Christian jumped off Ezekiel Jackson's back and hit the kill switch in one, two, three, and retained the ECW championship. Um, fun, entertaining match. Uh, good opener, in my opinion. Then you had the United States Championship match, The Miz versus MVP. You know, this match, you know, it was boring, you know. It wasn't good of a match. It was pretty boring. But um, what happened in the end was MVP uh, threw Miz outside the ring, and they got into a little brawl outside the ring. The Miz got in the ring. MVP was running, like, uh, he was on the ropes trying to get in the ring. Miz kicked him, rolled him up, one, two, three, and retained the United States Championship. But at the end, um... Miz was gloating in MVP's face that he retained the U.S. title. Um, MVP ends up kicking the Miz, giving him the playmaker, and walking out of the ring. But Miz is still the United States champion. Um, their match at Elimination Chamber is way better in this one. But, um, you know, it's still an alright match. Alright. Then you have the 30-man Royal Rumble match. Um, you know, and the match, alright, it was alright itself. You know, it wasn't any good of a match. I think people are complaining this match sucked mostly because what they did was bury their young talent in the entire match. I think the only young talent that survived a lot was Drew McIntyre. I think he was only in the match for like, you know, 10 to like 13 minutes. He was in the longest set of all the young talent, I think. But um, anyways, I actually enjoyed this Rumble match a lot. It was pretty exciting in my opinion. But um, at the end, um, Edge uh, came out at number 30 returning. And um, it came out to him and John Cena. And um, Edge threw out John Cena to win the Royal Rumble match. And now he's going to WrestleMania 26 to face Edge for, the, not Edge, uh, Chris Jericho for the World Heavyweight Championship. I can't wait for WrestleMania 26. Looking really, really good. And then special special features are Monday Night Raw, February 1st, 2010. Bret Hitman Hart confronts Mr. McMahon. Um, this is when uh, Bret Hart comes out Mr. McMahon saying how he's not going to induct his father in the Hall of Fame. And then you have Bret Hart trying to put him in the sharpshooter, but Tisa came out and attacked him. So, this is my review of the Royal Rumble 2010. Overall, really, really good DVD. Recommend it. Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, I know some people didn't enjoy it as much as I did, but I had really, really fun with this one. So, um, I'm Lodi Punk Fan 19 here. Hope you enjoyed this review, and I'm out, guys. Thanks for watching.